Hi, I'm Bertie, and you're watching Unsung Songs Down Under. Hi, and welcome to Unsung Songs Down Under. My name is Eric Striparo, and today we are talking about music, songwriting, promotion, production, and everything that is needed for an emerging artist to come out of an emerging scene. Please like and subscribe, and uh, let's get straight into it. Today we have a fantastic guest with us. We have the amazing Birdie. Birdie, welcome to the show. Hi, Eric. Thank you for having me. It's so nice to have you here. I would normally go and ask you so many things about yourself, but I want to go straight into the music because you just released a new track just a couple of weeks ago and something magic, magical happened last night. Last night, um, my newest song that was just released um, only a week ago called Pulling Strings uh, was played and was opening the show for Triple J. So that was that was a big thing for me. Um, only it was actually the second time they played it on Triple J. Um, the first time they played it was only three days before that. So yeah, no, it's been really great with this release. Sounds really good. Should we go and listen to that right now? Yeah, definitely. seems that you're pulling the right strings there. <laughs> 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 I 
I like that one. <laughs> I like that. It's magical. I love that. I listened to that. I was oh, like, ooh, we got to have her on the show. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So it's quite uh, amazing that uh, it's been uh, so successful on uh, Triple J and Hurted, I guess, already. So I'd imagine that's how you've been uh, uh, picked up to open the show last night. Yeah, yeah. So, um, the way that I actually got it onto Triple J was I I uploaded it on Unearth Triple J and um, I just kind of emailed them saying like, look, I've got this new release coming up. Just want to make sure that it's going to be uploaded on time. And they made sure of that. And then all of a sudden they, they I guess they had to listen to it while they were like kind of sorting it out. And they were like, oh, this is really cool and like different. And so they kind of emailed me and was like, hey, we're interested in like playing it on, you know, on the radio. Um, is it okay? And I was like, yeah, for sure, definitely. And so once they played it once, um, I think it was on like the Friday night um, because it, it, I released it on the Thursday, which is the 22nd. Um, then I think it was only two days ago on the Sunday um, did Declan Byrne actually email me back and was like, hey, I'm actually going to um, open the show for tomorrow night on Triple J with your song. Is that okay? And so I was like, wow, like already going to be played like two times on Triple J within like less than a week of the song being released. Like can't get any better than that. So um, yeah. So you go get her, you just call them up and hassle them until they played it pretty much. <laughs> I mean, not exactly hassle them, but, um, you know, politely ask them, you know, would you, would you be interested in like, you know, playing it? But yeah, definitely. And it's great. I think it's a great lockdown present. There's so many things that are really crazy <laughs> these days that something like that is uh, certainly welcome, I'd imagine. Um, so, uh, this is obviously not the first song that you have uh, recorded and produced, but you have many more, but let's get to know Birdie a bit more. Who are you? You are a, a mix of uh, a lot of cultures, aren't you? Definitely, yeah. So, um, I'm actually part Greek, Russian and Chinese. My mom is uh, Malaysian Chinese and my dad on the other side is obviously Greek and Russian. So, I've got a bit of a mix in me. Do you speak any other language than um, English? So I speak a little bit of Cantonese, a tiny bit of Mandarin, um, and I can count one to ten in Greek and French. Oh, <laughs> but um, when I was younger, though, I like my mum actually raised me to to talk to me in Cantonese. So surprisingly enough, I can actually understand Cantonese very fluently, um, but I can't speak it fluently. Yeah. That's a really nice mix. Um, it's languages yeah. are something in amazing for me. Very I'm, different. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fascinated. I'm fully Italian, but I lived uh, a big chunk of my life in Germany and I've learned German there in Berlin. Wow. And then, uh, of course, I could speak English already, but I perfected it coming here a few years back. So that's, uh, yeah. uh, I think languages are a really, really good thing because they allow you to discover cultures. And once you understand Definitely. how... Definitely how you make a sentence, then you understand a bit more of the culture. It's uh, quite interesting. So, Birdie, where does the name come from? Birdie, uh, my dad actually came up with the name. Um, when I got older, I actually asked him, I said, why, why did you call me Birdie? Where'd you get that name? It's so unusual. And he said, one day I was watching a movie um, and I can't remember what it was called, but he said he was watching a movie and the main character in it was called Birdie. And so he watched the movie and it was, you know, a movie that he, he absolutely loved. And so he looked at the credits and he saw the way that it was written and he thought, wow, it's spelled Birdie as in B-I-R-D-double-E. That's so original. Like I've never seen that. Usually people are spelt with B-I-R-D-I-E or with a D-Y or Bridey, but he thought that's so unique and different and he thought I'm gonna call I'm gonna have a daughter one day and I'm gonna call her Birdie and that's what he did he called me Birdie yeah that's wonderful um, just uh, let's go back into the music then and let's get out, uh, let's talk about pulling strings and about your, your uh, songwriting process and production process yeah and uh, Tell us a bit more about how you approach writing a song and uh, um, what's your background musically, actually? 
Um, so my background music, what I grew up with, I actually started uh, playing classical piano at the age of three. So I was very influenced by classical music um, and then gradually got into songwriting um, and listening to music more like in today's age. So at the time I was listening to very contemporary stuff like Adele, um, and would always write like my own kind of songs along with other people's songs. At the time, I didn't really know that I was writing music, but in a sense I was, because I was very young. Um, and so as I got older, my kind of genre and style evolved into like contemporary ballad, kind of acoustic kind of field area. Um, Cause I, I Singing is definitely my main instrument, but I I have always performed with piano as well. So that's always um, been my area. But only recently since I moved to Sydney to study at the Australian Institute of Music, um, did I kind of branch out and get out of my comfort zone to, to kind of get into other genres and styles. And so with that, I I collab I've collaborated with quite a few artists and producers so far that are in different types of genres and styles. So one being in like electronic music, another being in R&B and lo-fi and another being, you know, it's all very different. And so in that sense, I'm trying to find my new sound and what I am evolving and shaping to be as an artist right now. Is this AIM where you've been? Yeah, the Australian Institute of Music. Great. Yeah. So um, I had Waterbar and Neil Rose joining us in the show. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You played with them? Yeah. Um, I think I I've I was I was going to collaborate with Neo Rose actually at one point. I think it was in the last lockdown. I was going to collaborate with him, but never got around to it. And um, Waterbar, I've definitely spoken to him many, many times. He's an amazing, amazing person. Um, great to be around and so talented. So yeah, I, I know both of them very well. <laughs> okay, let's go back into the uh, song. And uh, you didn't produce this song on, uh, on your own. You wrote the melody and uh, you wrote the lyrics, right? And did you make a bit of a demo or how did that work? Yeah, yeah, um, great question. So. Um, I actually collaborated with a another AIM student who used to be a student. Um, his name is Toby, but his artist name is Butterbath, in which he kind of um, co-wrote and produced the song mostly. Um, whereas I kind of did a little bit of writing in terms of the lyrics, but he mostly did most of the work. You shared a little video that actually was on Instagram yesterday and uh, um, it's uh, actually him showing a bit of the process that he used during this uh, um, this production and that's a little real. Let's get this loaded here and here we go. Let's watch and listen. Here's the beat for Pulling Strings by Birdie. The hi-hat's like this. And then all the drums sound like this. This weird guitar. Obviously, it's nothing without Birdie's vocal. Fighting when the yours are down with. Acting like we're open. The sickles are smoking. Looking I should leave you. We have made a. So cool. <laughs> so cool. I just realized I have the same MIDI controller. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really good. Maybe next time we can have him on a show. Um, all yeah. right. So let's play another one of your songs. And we gave enough justice, I think, for today to pulling all those strings. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's play like that. I could take you home. Would you like that? 
production and wonderful song when did you write Thank this you. Uh, i think i started writing this song probably two years ago but i only released it till earlier this year do you procrastinate a lot on songs um i think i do <laughs> i i like to think that i I, i work pretty quick on songs but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist at times, so yeah, I think I do, yeah. It's really nice because it's so minimal, but yet so full. It's got some really nice harmonies. I enjoy that a lot. And uh, I guess um, I'm wondering if I've, I found this on Triple J and Hertha, that's uh, bedroom pop, right? Is that how you define yeah, that? Yeah, bedroom pop. That's it, that. yeah. <laughs> I like it. Of course, right now you're listening a lot to pulling strings, which is going to be soon everywhere but um is there anything that any any musical tip that you can give us that anyone that you're listening to or you are uh, hooked on oh anyone that i'm hooked on um at the moment i think 
It's very different. It's very, it's very weird because I like my kind of style and music at the moment is very electronic and stuff, but my music taste is like, can be very different to what I make. So at the moment I'm actually into Juice World, going through a phase, Juice World has been pretty good. Um, and I'm getting back into my phase with Georgia Smith. She right. is just amazing. One of my favorite artists and will probably will be one of my favorite artists forever. Yeah. Awesome. I've uh, recently rediscovered uh, uh, Counting Crows who came out with a new record and the Black Crows actually who have some amazing songwriting as well. Speaking of songwriting, yeah, right. yeah you should check them out if you don't know them. They are quite spectacular. Uh, they're a bit on the uh, 90s, 2000s, but they, uh, they're the guys from uh, Mr. Jones and uh, they came out with another great record as always with a fantastic production and songwriting and he's got this amazing voice as well where any every he never does the same thing with his voice so um, it's quite unusual and unusual it's really nice Bertie, would you like to play as a song to play a song live yeah, yeah sure i'd love to ladies and ladies and gentlemen here you go with Bertie live on unsung songs down under. Love, love is just pain. Nobody knows that I'm just insane. Talking too much, so I've had enough. Don't go away, don't go away. Time, time can slip, slip away like the taste of your lips. We couldn't last. You left so fast, now you've gone away Please, oh please, oh please I'm hung up in the trees Please, oh Thank you so much. What's next for Birdie? I think it's uh, an EP coming out and potentially another EP coming out after that. Um, also kind of in the works with maybe a music video soon. So yeah, just more songs, more music, more stuff from Birdie coming soon. Sounds amazing. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you.
Thank you for having me, Eric. And um, this was Birdie. Go and check her out. Where should everyone go and listen to your music and follow you? Yeah, so everyone can check me out or follow me um, on Instagram at Birdie Official, B I R D double E Official, or Facebook, just Birdie Music. You can also check me out on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, SoundCloud, TikTok, everywhere. Thank you very much for being on the show. You, everyone, you like and subscribe, love, share, like, and check her out. Check Barry out. See you next week.